God bless, God bless, God bless children of the living God. This is God's servant, Teme Carter, with Fire Deliverance Ministries located on the Treasure Coast. Good, good Friday morning to you. Come on, somebody. I know somebody got a faint on this morning uh, because they're getting ready for the weekend. God's willing. Oh, my God. Somebody got some joy this morning. Huh? Oh my God. Hey, Kata. And if you don't got it, I'm here to encourage you this morning. You got something to praise God for. Come on, somebody. He kept you another day. Huh? He carried you another day. Huh? He has covered you huh? another day. Come on, somebody. Oh, Kata. Hey, Kata. Hey, Kata. You are not laid up in the hospital. Come on, somebody. You are not laid up in hospice. Come on, somebody. You are not in a rehabilitative center. Come on, somebody. You are on your job. You are at your home. You are driving in your car. You are with your children. You are with your husband. You got something to give God thanks for. My God, my God, my God. You are not in the ICU this morning. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. I just wanted to uplift you this morning and let you know, hallelujah, touch yourself, touch your heartbeat. Oh, glory, you're still here. Oh, my God, that thing that was supposed to take you out. Hallelujah. Just shout out, I'm still here. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. It did not work. Hallelujah. God did it. Oh, God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Saints of God. I just got to praise and I got to get it out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wanted to come to you today with a quick word. So I'm listening to my audio Bible and I'm in the book of songs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get some water because I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just somebody pray for me. I got to get some water. Because huh? I at this point, I am not about to stop this video and start over. Oh, she may be like, this woman done start talking and she got to get some water. And yes, I do. Because I got a word, a quick word for you on today. I might, it's a good word too. And I hope and I pray that it helps somebody. My God. And that this word will penetrate your heart. Come on, somebody. Give me a moment. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But I pray that this word on today will penetrate your heart. That it will um, open your eyes and your, uh, your eyes of understanding and your ears, your spiritual ears, spiritual eyes, spiritual understanding that you will know what does save God. And how you can get a breakthrough in your prayers. Come on, somebody. So I was listening to songs. And the scripture on today is Song 66, 18. I'm only going to play this part of what came up. And I'm like, oh my goodness. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly. Now listen to what she said. This is song 6618. I know it went really fast. She say, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I'm going to go up to, um, I'm going to go up a little more because she was praying. She was, she, she was talking about her prayers to God. She said, I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats, Selah. Come and hear all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he have done for my soul. Come on, somebody. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear hear me 
but verily God have heard me. He have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which have not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. So she said, blessed be God because he heard her prayer. He did not turn it away. Listen, children of God. And I want to, you know what? I didn't look up this word, but I do want to look up the word extolled because she says, I cried unto him with my mouth and he was extolled with my tongue. And I want to look that word up now because since I went up to that scripture, give me one second. So extolled, it says, praise enthusiastically. Okay, so she was praising God highly. She was glorifying God with her tongue. Okay, and he was extolled with my tongue. So, uh, uh, um, highly praised. Because she said, I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. Is in I'm gonna go to another scripture. Um no, I'm just gonna go to what it um what it says on Google. And I'm not a Google person, I'm a a, a, a follower of the, the spirit of God. But let's see what this says. And it says, if you extol something, you praise it very highly. So her tongue was praising God highly, and God heard her prayer. But when she got down to 18, and she said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So regarding means I like to do this thing. Huh? Hallelujah. I am happy in doing this type of sin. I'm happy in uh, um, going with another woman's husband. I'm happy with going with another man's wife. Huh? Hallelujah. I like gossiping and backbiting against my brethren. Huh? I like to sow discord among the brethren. Huh? Holy Ghost, come on now, help me, Holy Ghost. I like um, um, stirring up trouble in the church. Huh? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So when you regard sin, hallelujah, and you know that it's there, you know that it is present huh? hallelujah, ooh, in your heart. Huh? Hallelujah. When you co-sign on sin, when you know somebody is wrong and then you still say yes, they are, are, are right about what they are saying. You are co-signing on a lie. Oh my God. Oh, Ekata, and see this thing has happened to me. Huh? Well, hallelujah. Um, with the Florida Department of Corrections. Uh, I call them a network of liars uh, because they cover each other's sin. Um, you know that is wrong. You know this person has lied on that person, but you still come behind them to cover their lie. You, oh my God. Listen to me, children of God. You got to confess your sins. You got to repent of your sins. You have to renounce your sins. Because if you do not do that, then God can reject your prayer. Listen what listen what he's listen what she says now. She said, But verily God have heard me. He have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which have not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. So she's saying that God did not reject her prayer because she did not have iniquity. She did not like iniquity in her heart. Come on, somebody. And then I got another scripture for you. Proverbs. 28 I'm going to go down to verse 13 and the Bible says he that covereth his sins shall not prosper 
But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So when you, hey, when you confess that sin, God forgive me for sleeping with that woman husband and you don't do it no more. Forgive me for lying on that sister and you don't do it no more. Then God will have mercy on you. So you got to understand what David did when the prophet went to him, when God sent the prophet Nathan to him and he told him about a man that did wrong by another man. And then when he told him it was you and then David realized I have sinned and he confessed that sin and he repented of his sin. We have to do the same thing so God can have mercy on us. But when we got sin in our heart and we know that is there. We can pray to God, but he will reject our prayers. It's written. Go back to 66 and 18. She says, blessed be God, which have not turned away my prayer. Children of God, listen to me real good. If sin is in your heart and you regard it, you know it's there. You know you in this um, adulterous relationship. You know you're fornicating and you saying that you're a child of God and you're getting up in church and you're on the praise team and you're in the choir. Can't wait to get out of church to go lay up with this man. The Bible says God will not. He, 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 how he's going to hear your prayer. Come on now. And I'm even going to say this. You got churches that will not confront sin. You got members that done left their spouses and have joined with someone else in the church and you celebrate it. How can God be covering that church and covering that ministry? <laughs> If you are a part of a ministry like that, you better run because God is not in there. God is not a God of sin. God is a God of his word. God is a God of righteousness and justice. Know those who are over you in the Lord. Know those who labor amongst you in God. It's time now to say, search me, O oh God. Oh, glory. Anything that's not of you, O oh God, please remove it from me. Children of God, listen, we are at the door of the coming of the Messiah. You may say, we've heard that so many times, but I'm here to tell you, God brought me a vision. You can go find it, the video on my channel. And I seen the year 2024. He even showed me that the Antichrist has taken the seat of power. Search me, O oh God. If anything is not of you within this vessel, if anything is hidden and hiding in my heart, let the fire of God locate it and annihilate it. Come on, somebody. Well, saints of God, you be blessed today. Be encouraged and be empowered and know that Jesus loves you and the woman of God loves you. Amen.